Good morning guys, welcome back or to the channel. So today, super nice outside. Uh, it's almost three o'clock, right at 70 degrees. And it's it's pretty good. Um, I'm sitting here in my newly air conditioned truck. <laughs> Just got back home and I'm gonna say this thing has been doing great. Uh, yesterday, it was a little warm on the air. So we went and bought a this thing, hold on just a second, about this thing, this thing here at uh, O'Reilly's, went to put some in it and that showed it to be too high, um, but after plugging that thing in a couple times, so we would plug it in, take it back off and check it, put it back on, check it, you know, make sure, but it did show it to be too high, but after hooking that thing up to it, um, I guess the red truck just wanted me to spend some money on it. <laughs> now, the air is perfectly, perfectly good. Um, nice and cold. I drove it around for about an hour and just never skipped a beat. So, that's nice. I like it. Um, so, one thing that I've been wanting to do, and now we have some nice nice weather I want to clean this thing up uh, tremendously so we'll probably wait a little bit uh, for the Sun to go down to wash the outside of the truck but I say right now let's run in um, I'm gonna eat something real quick and then we'll come back out here and we will give the interior the interior of this old girl a good solid cleaning uh, you can't see it. I mean, it looks pretty good uh, here. But if I roll this window down, uh, and you can see that this thing is filthy. It kind of it hides a lot of it, but this thing is. I mean, this thing is filthy. As you can see there. So we're gonna give this thing a cleaning and uh, see what we can get her looking like. But, I want to run in the house, um, eat some lunch, because I haven't done that yet. And then we'll come back out here and get to cleaning. I haven't done a full clean on this thing ever. <laughs> so, you know, I've, I've cleaned the interior here, or washed the outside of it there, or, you know, something like that. But I've never done, like, a actual full, full clean. I uh, haven't touched this interior in almost a year I think uh, same thing with outside so um it definitely needs it but yeah yeah it's pretty bad um but we're gonna work on it today like I said now that we have some super super nice weather all right guys so actually I actually have a couple things here uh, like I said, I'm not going to wash the truck quite yet. And to be completely honest with y'all, <laughs> they didn't send me this. I bought this for a truck giveaway. Um, but we're going to try this on uh, the tires and some of the plastics here in a bit when we go wash the truck. But right now, we're going to focus on this interior because, well, you know, pork truck stuff. And I promise, I promise, I'm gonna try to start keeping this thing nice. Um, I'm trying to fix everything on it, make it nice as possible. We're getting there, we're getting there. But I'm gonna start with the dash uh, and then I'll do the seats afterwards. That way they don't get super filthy. But I got this. Um, I don't know where the rest of my detailing stuff is, but whatever. Um, have this, I've tried this before, it works pretty decent on uh, like the seats and stuff. So I'm gonna get started here and we're gonna see what we can do with this interior. But I mean, you can see like the dust, it's all over everything. It's just, it's a lot of dust, but the thing is, it's filthy. So like I said, we're gonna see what all we can do to it. And hopefully by the end of this, It'll look a little bit 
more presentable in here. Okay guys, so I've spent a couple minutes on this handle and this uh, A-pillar piece here. And I thought I would show you all this. So this, pretty clean. There's this little spot here. Stuff that won't come out. Um, not worried about it. But, look at that difference. Just, I mean, a couple minutes for the work. I mean, I like this stuff. Uh, again, I'm not sponsored. I just, I, like I said, I bought this for a truck giveaway. Um, and honestly, I've been pretty happy with it. I mean, you can see there, majority of it is gone and just, you know, a little bit of effort. So, just thought I would show you all that. And you can see there. Um, but I'm going to get back to work in here and see if we can get this thing cleaned up. Guys, so that does look like it. But look at this, it's so clean. Look at that. Still gotta hit this some more, but cluster's clean, bezel's clean. Hit the wheel a little bit. Um, it wasn't real dirty because I cleaned it not too long ago, but um, I mean, the, the dash is clean. This piece is clean. I took my phone mount off. Cleaned under it, cleaned it pretty well. So we're looking, we're looking a whole heck of a lot better, um, as you can tell. I got that door panel, got it, got that handle, got this handle here. Um, looking pretty good. Got the door panel, so the door panel looks pretty good, and this seat. So I mean, I know. You can still see it like the wear marks in it. Uh, these front seats need reupholstered. Um, I mean, you can see they're cracked. Got a crack here, got a couple cracks over there. And I'm gonna say the previous owner had these recovered with a cheaper cover. Uh, that's why they're discoloring. And I'm gonna say they recovered over the original foam. That's why it's broke down, you know, from people getting in and out. Um, but they recovered it, so it's not torn. Well, now it's tearing. Not a big deal. Well, it kind of is about 3,000 bucks uh, from what I was looking at to get these redone. But we need to do that at some point or another. Because um, that seat, it's crooked. Uh, actually, I might get in the back here a minute and show you all that. But that seat sits crooked. Um, so, if you sit like straight in the seat, you're pointed like over here instead of straight, which I don't know if that's normal. I don't think it is. Um, that's why the door panel got cracked because my leg, this leg, goes off the side of the seat over here and it kind of rests in the door panel, which it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, uh, if you were wondering. But. Anyway, I also got this kind of cleaned up. And I can't get down in here around the edges. Um, I need some brushes for that. But anyway, I've got the front done. The back is, the back's really clean uh, because nobody, nobody ever rides back there. So I'm not too worried about that. So the only thing I got left is uh, this passenger seat. And then, we should be good. So, let's see, what time is it here? 4.06. So, probably not a good idea to go to Green Bear to wash this thing. I was gonna take it and pressure wash it um, at car wash, but it's a bad time of day to attempt traveling in Green Bear. So, we're not gonna do that. Um, at least quite yet, but maybe here in a bit, we'll sneak out, get this thing washed, because it's, doesn't look like it on camera, but this thing is, it's just absolutely filthy, um, but got to do this seat, I'm not going to get to vacuum it today, we'll have to do that another time.
but also looking at it this seat also sits crooked to the middle i don't understand but this seat i mean it's wore through here it's got a hole in it there so that needs fixed well needs replaced uh this foam is actually really good here it's kind of i would probably replace it and then we have that on the armrest there um that seat over there the split seam and a split seam that was glued together by one of the previous owners so i mean all that needs fixed because like i said i want to make this thing nice um i'd like to put a proper airbag in it so i know that's not the right airbag and i don't think this one is either there's two different colors so maybe one day we'll get to that but i'm gonna start cleaning this seat i know this one will clean up a lot better than that one did um because i think this is oem you can feel you can feel the difference in the two covers so i'm gonna say that one over there was probably just a cheap a cheap fix to get somebody going but i'm actually gonna do a little bit of this one probably half or so just to show just to show the difference so i mean i've never had a vehicle with leather seats i'm just gonna keep it real with y'all um this truck first truck i've ever had with leather my 300 down there also has leather seats so i will be the first to admit i don't know a whole heck of a lot about leather care but y'all should be able to see pretty noticeable difference there on one side to the other so i'm gonna keep cleaning here and then hopefully in a bit we'll get this thing washed and get it looking good all right guys so as you can see much much better this i don't know what that is it won't come out it's almost like it's glue or something but i mean there you go so they cleaned up actually a lot better this one did anyway a lot better than i was expecting uh that one eh, that one's it just needs replaced but i mean there you go so hopefully sometime or another we can get these uh, recovered thought about doing a platinum interior like a newer platinum interior or a newer lariat interior but kind of like these uh, and another thing is on the like the six seven trucks the heated seats and all that is up in the dash whereas this truck the heated seat is on the side so i don't know what you would do for that um especially me because i'm an idiot and i don't know a whole lot about wiring but anyway let's hop back up in this thing uh, the roof the roof is atrocious by the way windshield's bad mirrors pretty rough um but the interior is pretty nice i gotta get some glass cleaner when we go out and i'll do these windows but i think i think that's about it so the the back is pretty clean i keep those seats folded up i um, mean like i said nobody ever sits back there so I think we're done for the interior now i mean again it needs vacuumed i'm not gonna have time to get to that today i actually need to run inside and do a couple things on the computer real quick um and then we'll go get some glass cleaner we'll pressure wash the outside of this thing and i may just wash it at the car wash i don't know we'll see We'll see what the uh, traffic is like, and I guess we'll go from there. But 
I guess I'll catch y'all then. Okay, guys, so it's a bit later. About to run to the car wash. Uh, get this thing washed. I have, <laughs> I have uh, about 10 bucks for the quarters. So hopefully that'll get it. I'm just going to hose it down. Um, probably just hit it with some soap and then brush it. Now I know some people are probably going to freak out. Oh, you're scratching your truck. Well, um, <laughs> not too concerned with that. Because this thing, I don't know what the last owner did with it, but it's pretty rough. And this truck, really, to keep it, to keep it real, this truck really needs really, really bad repainted. Um, I mean, stuff like that, paint's flaking all over this thing. Um, there's a bunch of stuff to be completely honest. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, the scratches and stuff. So at least not for now. If I ever repaint this truck, which I said I wasn't going to, uh, for one, it'll stay red. And two, It'll probably get ceramic coated and all that stuff. Um, so, anyway, that air is not very cold. I'm gonna cool off here in a minute, uh, and then we'll head that way. I think my grandpa's gonna come with me and uh, keep the machine fed. Quarters under here. So I think he's gonna keep that machine fed. Um, and I brought this for the tires and the bed cover because it is it's pretty rough. So, anyway, I guess we're going to head that way in a minute. And I will probably see y'all when we get back. Um, if it's not dark. If it's dark, I'll catch y'all first thing in the morning. Okay, so, uh, actually, real quick. I was looking at this stuff, and apparently I'm an idiot. This is not a cleaner, it's a, like a top coat. So, don't really need that. Um, <laughs> so, let's put that over there. A uh, pressure washer should get it pretty clean. And if nothing else, we'll, we'll put some of that on it later. But, anyway, <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm an idiot, so I'm going to head that way uh, here in a minute, and uh, I'm trying to wait to get this thing up to temp before we head on out, but I'm hoping, hoping, fingers crossed, that this thing comes decently clean, because I mean, if you look at this, it's just, it's bad, um, I guess it doesn't look terrible on camera, but it's, it's pretty rough. So hopefully, hopefully, we can get that done. And also, I need to pick up some window cleaner while we're out. So we'll do that as well. Okay, so I just got back from the car wash. Decided I wasn't going to use that brush. Thing looked like you had just stuck it in a pile of dirt and left it there for about a month. <laughs> so I know the paint sucks on this thing, but it's not that bad. Um, you would think 20 bucks the car wash would look a little better than this i mean see the bumper <laughs> looks pretty bad but i got here some uh adam's polish and stuff that we're going to use try to get this thing cleaned before the sun sets completely because it's almost seven o'clock so i'm gonna get at it and see if we can get this thing washed uh, before it gets too too dark on us because I don't want this thing to sit out here and let water spots collect on it All right guys, so There it is um, My grandpa helped me get it washed a big thank you to him uh, but there was a bunch of uh, From the tree here a bunch of black speckles all over the hood. Those are all gone now 
Um, same thing with the roof. They're all gone. All the bug guts are gone. Looks good. I mean, and you can still see. Look right there is a faint. Looks like somebody sanded this with some real rough grip paper. But got the wheels clean. Got in here cleaned. Under here, it's not super clean, but we're, we're running out of daylight. <laughs> so just trying to hurry. Um, the roof is pretty rough as well. You can still see some of it. Need to get some stronger cleaner for that, but I think all in all, it's pretty good. So I guess that's where we're going to end the video out. Okay, so I know it's not like a super in-depth, you know, super detail or none of that. Um, you know, just it feels nice to have this thing clean because again, I haven't done anything like this on this truck uh, since bought it. <laughs> so that's uh, it's kind of nice to have it. Oh, have it clean need to fix that as well still need to get diesel fuel uh, we found some window cleaner but not gonna get to that tonight um, need to go eat and do some other stuff but just look at this view it's so much better but anyway guys it's gonna be a wrap for today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video please drop a like and comment down below hit that subscribe button thanks for watching guys I hope everybody has a great day